Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series on the YouTube channel Makeshift Gaming here. It's been a few years since I've done anything on YouTube and uh, yeah, I'd like to apologise for that but it's been a hectic couple of years. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I'll explain that as the season goes on. Um, hopefully I'm going to get back into doing YouTube videos on a more regular basis. It's going to be um, hopefully one or two videos a week. Um, I've got this series planned for Wolves, they're in the Premiership now and the idea is to keep them in the Premiership this season and see if we can enjoy ourselves a bit and hopefully get some feedback off you guys too. I've spent a fair bit of time trying to get all this set up again, <laughs> which has been a bit of a pain, but we have got there in the end. But anyway, moving on, this is the, the season we're going to be going with, it's going to be Wolves. Um, we've already did all the transfers, we've did... Um, We've done the tactics, transfers, and we've also just finished looking at the coaches as well. And this is obviously episode one. I wanted to get to the first game of the season, which in this one is going to be the 9th of August, which is against Plymouth. And that's in one of the cups. So before we jump into the match, let's just take a look to see the changes that I have actually made to the squad. Take a look at the dynamics, the tactics, um, and obviously the players and things like that too. So we'll jump into the transfers first of all, <clears throat> which is what we have managed to get out of the way. A um, couple of problems so far with the transfers. I have made a huge mistake in signing Predrag Rajkvik. Um, now this guy here, was I was hoping he would be my main goalkeeper for the season, but as you can see, he has work permit issues. I did not see that. I spent about six million on him. So I'm trying to loan him out to try and get um, some some game time. Hopefully in a couple of years time he'll have his work permit. Um, which is really disappointing because I'm having to rock up with John Ruddy now for the rest of the season. I mean, no, he's probably a good goalkeeper, um, but I would like something a bit better. But yeah, so we're missing our new goalkeeper for probably a couple of years. So we will probably need to get a new goalkeeper at the end of the season because I'm not sure that John Ruddy is going to be good enough for this season. Um, so that is the biggest kind of disappointment so far for the season as our goalkeeper we can't really use. Um, we're trying to get rid of Miranda on loan but let's look at the transfers today anyway. We've spent 37 million which is all the money we have at the club. If you go to the finances we have nothing left. Um, our wage budget is nearly full um, and yeah we have spent everything possible in this season because we want to make sure that we stay in the league. Um, and if we look at the transfers, we've had to make do with some budget signings and one major transfer, as you can see there, I'm pretty happy with that one. So, Dennis Dirkmeyer, I think is how you pronounce that name. If not, please help me out in the comments below. But we have signed this guy from, it was a free transfer, and if we go into it here, as you can see, he's already starting to improve in some really, really good areas this season. And he is going to be a right wing back. He's so fast. He's got great crossing. And on a free transfer, I'm not going to complain about that whatsoever. We wanted to get some cover in for, I think it's Matt Doherty at right back. Because he's not quite as good as Dennis. But hopefully we'll find out how this guy does. He's so fast and he's got the stamina and work great as well. So looking forward to seeing how he does. Another free transfer was Pontus Vernblum. Um, again, a free transfer. He's got fantastic mental stats, um, which is what I was looking for for a defensive midfielder. He's good marking, good tackling, good stamina, good strength. And again, free transfer, I can't really complain. And he's already valued at 15 million. Not had any improvement from him so far, but he will be our kind of main defensive midfielder. And we've also got, I think it's um, an Alfred at defensive mid as well on loan. But we'll look at that in a wee second. Billy Jack. Now, Every single time you start a new game on Football Manager, I always try and look around to see if we can find some um, some players that are free transfers and they're really young. And thankfully, I went up to Scotland to have a look to see about this kid here, Billy Jack. Billy Jack is 16 years old from Scotland and he was a complete free transfer. He was just in the game already and he looks absolutely phenomenal. So he does. Very good mental stats already. Um, for 16 years of age, he's going to be great. I'm looking forward to seeing how he turns out. Moving on to the players that we have signed and spent money on. We have got defender Marcelo. Now, Marcelo is, he's 28 years old, Brazilian, now worth nearly 10 million. He's going to be 
probably one of our main centre backs this season, and he only cost us three point eight million from Rio, um, in Portugal. Very very good player, Milan Skoda from Slavia Prague. Now I've been looking online at a few of the recommendations for a striker, and this guy keeps cropping up all the time because he's a fantastic target man. He's got decent finishing, um, fantastic heading, jumping, balance, strength, teamwork. Aggression, bravery, determination, he's got it all. Um, and he is our target man. So I'm hoping that he can do a job for us this season um, up front as a target man. We'll look at the tactics once we've looked at the transfers. Another defender we've brought in is Dario Marisic from Stromgratz. Uh, this guy, again, 17 years of age. Um, already looks like a really, really good player. He's going to improve a lot, I'd imagine. He's like four star, probably five star potential for Wolves with the current players we have already. And if you look here, only spent 2.2 .2 million, so you can get some of these players really cheap. So we managed to get a good six players there with spending under 10 million, which is fantastic. And most of these players will probably be starting for us. Dario, maybe not, because I have Delict from Ajax, and I'm really, really happy with this one. I wanted to get one big name in. And this guy is a wonder kid. He's 17 years of age from Ajax and he's got every stat possible that you, you just need for a really good ball playing defender. Um, and we signed him for, what's that, I believe, 21 million. I'm really happy with that. And again, like I said, the goalkeeper we signed, uh, um, we can't even use him because his work permit's not even available for us, which is a bit crap. But never mind. So that is the transfers that we've got. I think if we go to scouting no transfers yeah as you can see about we are trying to sign in a hell of a lot of coaches just now to try and improve our backroom staff because if we go into staff as you can see it's really really poor we're nearly at the bottom of everything um and we just would like to improve that so yeah trying to get a staff in that'll probably come in after the next game <clears throat> Um, and if you look at the, the squad in general now, our squad is stacked, it's so big um, and we've had to even move some players into the reserves as well. I'm pretty happy with the subs and reserves that we've got available. Don't have a lot of options up front, we're having to rely on these players not being injured all season. That's going to be an issue for us, but we can use Hilder Costa and uh, Cal Calavallero um, as the right and left strikers they're just not going to have the, the most experience in that field I mean they have played there a few times they're not great um, but they could do a job if one or two players do get injured moving into the tactics now this is where it gets interesting a lot of you will know that football manager this year if you want to be successful it has to be three up front three up front is just the way to go so if we look at our tactic I've put this together um, trying to put the players in the positions that they're best suited to. So we get Jota as a tricortista. We've got Skoda, our target man, and then Benic Afob, who is fantastic as well. So that is our main three up front. Now, probably the best player in the team and for Wolves last season was Ruben Neves. Ruben Neves um, was from Porto, signed for 15, nearly 16 million. And that was for the championship too, which is crazy. Um, so that is our main kind of force of attack. We've got Neves, who's the, the advanced playmaker, Jota, Skoda, and Afobi up front, um, which is looking pretty solid for a team that's predicted to finish 18th in the league. We then have as our wing backs, the wing backs are really important this year too. Um, we've got Barry Douglas and we've got Dirk Meir. Um, Barry Douglas, probably one of the players we'll be looking to replace and Dirk Mayer as well, but they're really good for what we have. And obviously Pontus at defensive midfield. So probably next season, if we do finish relatively high enough, we'll be looking to replace this entire back three. Um, now that's if they don't, if they play pretty well, then I'll maybe keep them on. But I'll be looking to improve this area here. And obviously at the back, I'm not concerned about conceding and shipping loads of goals. We've got Willie Bolly, who Wolves have just signed in real life, I believe. And he is fantastic. 
he is really, really, I'd be, I'd be happy with him at Arsenal, Arsenal, the team I support. And he looks fantastic. So we've got him, we've got Matthias De Ligt, who is amazing. And we have Marcelo, who again is very, very good. And John Ruddy in goals. Now that's the only position where I'm really um, hesitant and nervous about at the moment because I don't feel that he is good enough. But hey ho, we'll see how we get on this season. Um, as our kind of reserves and backup this season, Will Norris, Dario Marisic, Matt Doherty, Alfred, Helder Costa, Calaviero, and Bonatini. So again, we've got some decent um, depth in the squad. Um, and yeah, we've been in, we've done all the set pieces. Um, as you can see, we've edited everything. Everything that we could possibly edit, we have edited for this squad. And I hope it's going to pay off for us. And we can, hopefully, I'm hoping to finish at least maybe between 10th and 6th would be the upper regions of where I think that we can finish this season. Um, we also, let's have a look at the dynamics as well. As you can, match cohesion is pretty poor. We've got a lot of new players in the team. So it's going to take us a few games to get the match cohesion up. Dressing room atmosphere is not too bad. And we've got some pretty good support too. Um, we've got a lot of players that you see in the outer regions. Um, and again, they'll probably be, yeah, social groups. It's, uh, these are two new things, the hierarchy and social groups and football managers. So you kind of want players and could be kind of influential. Um, you want a couple of team leaders, then you want a few more highly inf influential players and then a core group of influential players. Um, moving into the social group, you over the course of the seasons, these players play with each other all the time. They'll all kind of move into the kind of social group Bs, group As, and just the main social group of the squad. Obviously, the main social group is where they've spent the majority of the time together. Um, then the other kind of groups is where they've kind of got similar friends or similar nationality or languages. And others as players who are kind of all new and they've not really fit into the squad well enough yet. So that's what we're going to be hopefully keeping an eye on as the season goes on. And we should take it from there. But I'm not going to jump into the, the first game straight away. Um, I, this is just going to be the introduction for this YouTube series. There'll be an episode going up straight after this pretty much on YouTube with that first game of the season. But I just wanted to introduce myself back into YouTube again with the introduction for my new Wolves season. And I really hope you're going to enjoy it, guys. If you have any tips and hints and anything like that for me, please do leave it in the comments for me below. And obviously, if you're new to this channel, welcome. And uh, please leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next episode, which will be coming up straight after this. I just wanted to get the introduction out of the way, all the tactics, players, transfers, all the staff, and we'll take it from there. But thanks so much, guys. This has been Makeshift here. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.